outside Fast Hotel right now watching the sunrise and we're about to go eat breakfast and then drive to Yokosawa for Glacier Hike and to look at this view behind me. It's incredible. Oh, there's the sun. Look at the sun. Today we had such an amazing day. We did a glacier hike. <laughs> it was so amazing. It was just like, I, like, I don't know what I expected, but it was just like so much better than I expected somehow. We did the hike with local guide and it was absolutely incredible. Like, honestly, like a once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> means the glacier of the white forest um, and that refers more to the times of the first settlers arrival when this landscape was looking a little bit different so.
learned so much. Our guide, Barbara, was amazing. She had so much information. She was telling me about this special species of moss that only grows in Iceland and that starts growing on the moraines and then the seeds get carried by wind like down to other parts of the glacier and like the outwash plain and other parts near the glacier and will start like colonizing on different rocks and different parts of the land like not just in Iceland but it's even so specific to certain microclimates in Iceland like in the glacier so it's not even found everywhere on this one glacier and the glacier we were at is the biggest in Iceland called Vatnajökull and we were on just like one little tiny piece of it one of the lobes it's just so cool seeing glacier ice for the first time um seeing how blue it is in person and one of the funniest things I didn't expect is that I, it like feels like plastic, <laughs> weirdly. Like when you touch the ice, it, it almost doesn't feel real. Like it was just so cool. And there were so many of these cool um, air bubbles. There was so much ash in the ice. and it was just so cool i i had such an amazing time ice is like hundreds of years old. All this black sand used to be lava and ash and it was just all broken down into sand on this beach. This came from the glacier that we were just hiking on and got broken off into icebergs into the glacier lagoon and then washed out into the water a little bit here and then washed back onto the beach. So cool! We're at the hotel right now in Ferro Gerardi. It's been a really 
fun, really busy, tiring trip so far. I am exhausted. <laughs> and I love this hotel. Oh my gosh. I just took a shower and it's so nice. And we had dinner down in the food hall. And tomorrow we're going to try to hike to the 2021 volcano eruption site if the roads are open because the current eruption has closed a lot of roads. So I'm going to see what happens there. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that and a couple other things. And I'm really excited to take you along with me. So yeah, see you soon. I'm at the center of a town called Huvera Gerdi. We stayed here last night. And this is a really cool little town because it has so much connection to the geothermal activity on the mid-ocean rift of Iceland because we are right in the center of the active rift boundary where two plates are spreading apart. This town is really cool because there's a lot of uh, connection to the everyday life of the citizens here and this geothermal activity. So there's a ton of these greenhouses because they use the geothermal heat to heat the greenhouses to grow a bunch of fruits and vegetables, especially tomatoes. And it's really cool. And there's this geothermal park that's closed today, unfortunately, because it's Easter, but uh, they have a bakery right here. They make bread out of the ground with the geothermal heat. So it's so cool. I wish I could have seen it, but Oh well, <laughs> that's traveling. And I'm looking through the fence right now and there's a boiling hot spring, just like doing this. behind me. People are actually parking here and hiking to walk up to the warmer part of the river to go swimming. So what happens is that the magma is very shallow beneath the surface, about a kilometer, and it heats up the groundwater. So as the groundwater moves into the fractures of the rocks, um, it heats up to boiling. And here is one of the high temperature areas, so it goes up to 200 degrees Celsius and it boils up out of the ground and forms all these really cool features.
We picked up near Vic on the south coast, where we have the Ozanava show, and that would use our spacesuits to try to protect them from the sun. Iceland and the Mid Atlantic Ridge make Iceland one of the most volcanically active places on the planet. It had been dormant for 6,000 years when it first erupted in 2021. Have some ice? You want to see what's happening if I put it on top? Yeah? So I'm going to put the ice on top and behind in the channel it's cooling down over the edge of the floor underneath and because of that goes there, decomposes and all the Right there. I just saw it erupting through the binoculars. Yeah. 